Hello, beautiful creatures. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Nicole Francesca, and I like to make videos about UX uh, illustration, uh, specifically using Procreate to make some really awesome drawings. So. Uh, today I am drawing this beautiful alocasia plant. I already have the sketch laid out and I am just going to be filling it in and showing you how I block out shapes and how I add texture, layers, design, and whatnot. So um, I apologize in advance uh, for the ratio of the video. I shot it uh, more for like a TikTok, uh, which I am terrible at TikTok by the way, but um, I tried to edit it as best I could and this was the result so my video skills aren't up to par like all these other fancy video creators but you know we gotta learn somewhere so today I will be using um, the brush set that comes with Procreate a brush set that I bought which is called everything but watercolor so you can get that off creative market I have a link down below and I also it will be using a free set that I got from Wooly Pronto, which I will be linking her um, channel below too, so you can find her brushes on her channel. But um, I've kind of had like an obsession with uh, plants lately. Um, we're still in this quarantine, so I've been kind of collecting a lot of plants. Uh, I don't have an alocasia because they are uh, pretty hard to handle um, from what I hear, So, but I think they're absolutely beautiful. I do have an arrowhead that is pretty similar, um, but it doesn't have the dark, dark green and the uh, like tiger stripes that you'll see me drawing in a little bit. But. Anywho, I do have um, a color palette laid out for this drawing. This is like the first time I have a color palette laid out. Usually I kind of just throw my colors together and you will see later on in this video, I do adjust my colors a bit, um, but I'm using that color palette as like a starting place for everything. And also my voice um, sounds a little out of whack. I woke up the other day with like a scratchy um, voice and um, it was pretty hard to talk. It's still kind of hard to talk. So yeah, we're, we're, we're surviving and we're trying to thrive and you know, here we are. So um, how are you guys liking these videos? Um, I want to know your opinions and what you want to see. Is there something special that uh, you would like me to draw? Um, usually I kind of focus on um, more realistic drawings, but I think I'm going to put a video out of one of my um, illustrations that I do for um, video games and whatnot. And it's a little more flat design, a little blockier, less realistic, more um, less textured. You know, so we'll see how that goes. Um, what you'll notice is that I use kind of the same brushes over and over again, especially for like erasers and blenders. Blenders, I usually go between um, the Wooly Water Blender, the Wooly Blotty Blender, and for erasers, I use the Everything But Watercolors um, watercolor paper eraser and the, it's called like big ass filler, um, but I use that as an eraser as well to get those really crisp edges. Um, other than that, uh, in this video I kind of noticed that I'm using a lot of um, like watercolor brushes that are uh, like watery. For example, like the Big Wetty brush um, in the uh, everything but watercolor set is the one that uh, I like to use a lot. It builds up a lot of that um, wet on wet texture that you see in a lot of uh, watercolor paintings and then I like to blend it out with like the blotty blender so it gives it that really um, organic feel. Um, grungy glaze also, um, any of the glaze brushes, absolutely love those as well. Um, I use those to add a lot of highlights or textures. Um, as you can see here, I actually go back in and erase uh, these highlights later on. Um, it just felt a little too thick. Like you know when you paint something and it's just like, oh that's kind of too thick and blocky and weird. Um, 
so yeah that's what I do later on but this glazy daisy brush I absolutely love to fill in um, color and um, just like the wetty brush I kind of use those two brushes in the same way um, to build up that color and it does look pretty realistic to watercolor um, some brushes you'll find that um, they don't really give you the effect you want and you kind of have to like mix and match with like what you uh, like to use it's all an experiment right so um, I guess I will let the video play on and uh, Please subscribe if you like videos like this. I promise in the future that I will get these ratios and uh, editing down, I guess you would say. And let me know if there's anything special that you would like me to draw.
this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Take care.